Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I'm trying something really, really new. This is a special type of whiskey. Let's read what kind of whiskey I'm having today. It's a Kentucky straight malt whiskey. So it's not a bourbon, definitely not. And it's a malt whiskey. It's not a single malt whiskey. That means it doesn't uh, consist of 100% malt, but the majority malt. So we have at least 51% malt. And probably the guys at Woodford Reserve will put in some corn and some, uh, I want to say malted barley, but that's the majority, uh, some rye, maybe some wheat. Mm, let's find out. Um, the Woodford Reserve, Reserve Distillery is one of the old traditional distilleries. It has been uh, in Kentucky for the longest duration. Here they say the art of making fine whiskey first took place on the site of the Woodford Reserve Distillery, a national historic landmark. In 1812, this unique Kentucky straight malt whiskey has a soft, sweet, nutty character that embodies our spirit of innovation. Yeah, back in the days in 1812, um, whiskey and distilling business was definitely one of the high-tech businesses. Distilling has not been around for yeah, most of the time. It first was introduced with perfume and later than even with alcohol. Yeah, um, the distillery, um, I visited it and they have nice pot stills, one of the few distilleries who does pot stills. That's why it's a bit more premium, a bit higher priced, but also quite of a better character. And I've been there, so if you go search on the YouTube channel, you will find uh, the Woodford Reserve Distillery. Um, and you can see everything um, taking you on a tour through that distillery. In the end, we have a, a talk with the master distillery and he signed a bottle selected by master distiller Chris Morris. Yeah, and it says bottle number, batch number, and it gives us the indication it has 45.2% ABV, which is just above 90 proof. Yeah, very interesting, very, very new stuff. I'm really excited about how this, yeah, straight malt whiskey from Kentucky, how that comes out. Is it gonna be like a single malt whiskey? It's still gonna be matured in uh, fresh American oak barrels and uh, at Woodford Reserve, they are one of the few distilleries who do heating in the warehouse with the excess heat from the stills. They heat up warehouses and therefore they create artificial cycles where the of heat cycles where the cask is expanding and contracting and then you have more interaction with uh, the spirit inside the cask. So let's find out how this whiskey turns out. Mm. The nose is quite similar to a bourbon. Get a very strong vanilla, a little bit of fruitiness, a lot of caramel, a lot of sweetness. So if you would have given me that in a, in a blind tasting, I would have probably said, yeah, that's bourbon. Yeah, typical bourbon taste. Maybe a bit more on the fruity side. Maybe, yeah, fruity bourbon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that's quite a surprise. First, it starts off round, but then immediately we realize it has a lot of oak in it. Oak, 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 oak. And it's quite spicy. It has that rye spiciness. Mm, they put in quite some rye in there. Mm, wow, that's that's like the the main flavor in the whiskey. But you do realize it has a bit of a multi tone in there, so there is a remembrance for the single malt. But compared, uh, combined with a a lot of American oak and a lot of rye. Wow, 
it's quite for surprise. I wouldn't have expected that. Mmm. 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 Mm. Unfortunately, we do not know the mash bill, but we do know it has more than 50%, uh, 51% malt in it. But I'd really like to know how much rye he put in there because it's it's quite a hefty one, quite a hefty malt. Uh, but it's it's something very interesting. You always think, yeah, the Americans, they're all doing that sweet stuff and just all the same. No, this is something different. If you want to have something different, you got to go with Woodford Reserve. They have a, a lot of specialities. I think they do have a single malt. They have a double barrels where they mature it in two times in uh, fresh oak casks. And they have, uh, I think, a few other wooden casks. They actually made them airtight. So if you want to have something really special, that's the Woodford Reserve. So I can always recommend Woodford Reserve. And this one is... It's quite an exciting one. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next week.